Hello everybody, welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers, where we react to music that we grew up with from the 60s to the 90s, and my name is Tammy. Uh, tonight is Tuesday, and so we do Tammy's Two for Tuesday, first of all, and then I'm dressed up like this tonight because we will not be on the channel tomorrow night, so I want to shout out a happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. Um, viewers, subscribers, members, um, musicians, <laughs> just happy Valentine's Day to everybody. So, last few weeks when we've done Tammy's Twofers, I've played like two songs from one artist. I'm not going to do that tonight. Um, I'm going to play a couple songs that um, I think are just really, really great rock and roll um, love songs. And um, so, um, we're just going to get to it. The first one we're going to do was actually... It's on the channel, but it was one of the first songs we put on the channel. And it was a request from our friend Bruce um, that's on the channel and has been since pretty much day one. And for the longest time, this song had more views than any other song that we had on the channel. And I think there's been a couple um, since then, in the past six months or so, that's gotten pretty darn close. Uh, but I still think this one tops it out. I, I haven't checked in a while, but... Anyway, for a really long time, at least a year, um, it was uh, it was the top song. So we're just gonna play it tonight because it is a beautiful love song, and it's just got this this I don't know the music to it. I don't, it's just haunting and it's just beautiful. But anyway, we're gonna go back to 1974, and we're gonna play the Hollies tune, "The Air That I Breathe." So we're just gonna get right to it. beautiful chorus comes in when the chorus comes out in this song it just just gives me goosebumps <laughs> all over I just absolutely love this song I think it's just beautiful but <clears throat> a little bit about it before we get back to it um, this song was written by Albert Hammond and Mike Hazelwood and we just played an Albert Hammond tune the other night with the song <clears throat> it doesn't rain in Southern California and so um, when we were doing that um, video that night we mentioned then that they wrote this song so he's actually the one him and Mike Hazelwood that wrote this song Air That I Breathe and he also recorded the song himself in 1972 two years earlier so if you've never heard that version um, go check it out I did I actually like the Hollies um, version of it a lot better but it is a beautiful song all the way around and I hope you're enjoying it Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. We're doing the 1974 The Air That I Breathe by the Hollies.
what a song. <laughs> I think I'll play it every Valentine's Day from here on out. Just a beautiful love song. But if you're here tonight, you're at Tammy's Two for Tuesday. And so I'm just playing a couple of songs, of love songs, that were a couple of my favorite rock love songs. And I consider this a rock and roll song. Um, anything by the Hollies. Um, so anyway, if you don't know who the Hollies are, they also sing the 1972 hit Long Cool Woman and the 1966 hit Bus Stop. I love that little song too. <laughs> um, but anyway, in 1972, Albert Hammond, I said this a while ago, I think, um, he's the one that, that sang the song It Never Rains in Southern California. We were just talking about him last week. I think he had a birthday. That's what it was, yeah. Um, and he sang this, he recorded it before the Hollies did. Okay, so, and then it goes back up here. The song was written by the songwriter team of Albert Hammond and Mike Hazelwood shortly after they moved to L.A. This song is about a guy whose every desire is fulfilled by the woman he loves. This list of things he could do without as long as he has her love. And that's cigarettes, sleep, light, uh, sound, food, and books. <laughs> he says it all in there. Okay, but actually the inspiration for this song, Albert Hammond says, he just, when he moved to LA, he just fell in love with this girl. It was a short affair and he fell really hard and really fast. But he said he thought mostly looking back that it was just that he was missing his family and familiar beings and it was just so lonely at that time in LA and he was longing to get back to familiar faces back in New York. Um, so anyways, like in California, uh, everybody's driving cars and does this and this in New York. They're walking around so it was different for him so anyway um that's what we have to say about this song we didn't have much to say about the hollies i should have got a little more out about them because it was mainly about the singer songwriters but i'm sure we'll be putting more of them on the channel but i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did stay tuned we're going to put one more out sorry last night i was going to put another carpenter's tune out and I just didn't get around to it. Something happened. Chuck come down here or something. And, and it was just too late by the time I got ready to get it on. But I wanted, instead of putting them on tonight, I wanted to be sure to get my two favorite um, rock and roll love songs out here. So that's what we did. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like it. Um, be sure to consider becoming a member. And you can read about that underneath the video. And if you ever need to email me, my email address is underneath there too. So you can do that. Um, so anyway, uh, tune back in here for the second song. Um, and again, if this is the only video you watch, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. And um, peace out.